I will be showing you how to go from this to this in Clear Obscure Expedition 33. I will be comparing and benchmarking each major setting for graphics and performance differences so you can better optimize the game for your system and I will be giving you my optimized settings as well. Don't forget that you can watch this video in its full quality without compression on my Patreon, link in the description. Let's start with the CPU performance, and in my initial testing, in a scene with lots of static NPCs, it looks good, with low-end and mid-range CPUs being able to achieve just over 60 FPS before being bottlenecked. Although there seems to be a bit more room on the CPU that isn't being taken advantage of, but at least the game runs at a decent frame rate and doesn't suffer from any noticeable stuttering issues, at least from what I was able to test, which was mostly in the first starting area. Now let's get into the settings, starting with upscaling. TSR at native 1440p suffers from noticeable image stability issues, even while static. XESS Ultra Quality makes the whole screen softer and introduces very noticeable ghosting on the falling leaves, while DLSS Quality is a major improvement over both, but it still looks a bit soft. And if you were wondering, FSR is not supported in this game. Now for the motion test, TSR native holds up really well and doesn't seem to suffer from any meaningful visual issues in motion, while XESS ultra quality on top of smearing Vaseline over the whole image has very visible trailing behind the character when she moves and it's very noticeable during gameplay. It looks like DLSS quality also suffers from the same trailing issue, although it happens relatively quickly and is not really noticeable during gameplay that much, only if you're looking for it. My take on all of this is that all upscalers are lacking in this game and we have seen better implementations in most of the other games, but the least compromised upscaler here would be DLSS. For shadows, going from low to medium increases the quality and definition largely while high starts to tweak filtering and softness, so it looks very different, and epic looks mostly the same as high here. In this next scene, each option higher gradually increases the distant shadow quality. Medium is an improvement, but only on high does it start looking acceptable like the shadows we are used to seeing in this generation of games. It also controls how many shadows can be cast by objects and NPCs, but high and epic impact performance measurably, so I recommend using medium for the best performance and only use high if you have some FPS to spare. The global illumination setting subtly increases its accuracy with each option until you reach epic, which drastically increases global illumination quality and accuracy. But it does have an FPS impact, while low, medium and high perform the same. I recommend high to save some FPS. The reflection setting gradually improves reflection quality with each option, but they all suffer from flickering and are a bit unstable, but at least even on epic, it doesn't seem to affect performance, at least from what I could test so far. So use epic reflections, unless you encounter an area which starts to decrease performance, if so, tell us in the comments. The post-processing setting seems to mainly if not exclusively affect cutscenes, with medium applying a near depth of field effect, and high looks no different, while epic applies full depth of field, which looks quite nice, 
and even though it costs a couple of frames, it's worth it, especially since it only applies during cutscenes, so it won't lower performance during gameplay. As for the texture setting, it seems to be broken, as there is no visible difference in texture quality or VRAM usage between the options. It doesn't even affect anisotropic filtering. The visual effects setting on low for some reason reduces the quality of some meshes, so keep this setting above low at all costs. As for the effects themselves, there seems to be a big improvement when using medium, while high and epic improve the quality of effects further. As for performance, I noticed that all options perform similarly, except for epic, which can drop FPS measurably and consistently over high in some scenes. So, use high for the best balance. The foliage setting seems to mainly increase foliage density and decorative leaves scattered around the environment. Each option gradually increases foliage and it can have a big impact to the overall scene. And more importantly, the performance impact is quite large. So imagine the impact in scenes with more foliage. I recommend medium for the best balance. The shading setting was a tough one to test because it's kind of confusing. In terms of image quality, across many scenes, I wasn't able to tell any difference. However, performance-wise, it seems that only Epic impacts performance measurably. Maybe I'm missing something, or its visual impact can be noticed in another area further into the game. Use high just to be safe. And here are the optimized settings. I would like to thank Chirpy once again for their continuous support recently. And you can support me on Patreon too. In return, you get some goodies. Most importantly, you get to watch my optimization videos in full quality without compression. And have your name in my optimization guide videos, just like this one. As for performance, the game is surprisingly GPU demanding. Using max settings at native 1440p, we are averaging around the mid 20 FPS range. I know the game looks good, but it performs a bit below what I expected. Using the optimized settings, still at native 1440p, the frame rate increased to around 40 FPS. That's a solid 60% improvement. And using DLSS quality, further increased the frame rate by around 37%. Now, we are averaging around the mid-50 FPS range. After all of this, we are still not reaching 60 FPS. This shows that the game has a high barrier for entry and doesn't scale all that well, especially on lower-end GPUs. On top of that, the game only offers a few meaningful settings to tweak, so more graphical settings would have been nice to have. That's my only critique of the game's optimization so far. What do you guys think?